And we're back to the north gate again. All right, north, north gate. There's a couple looking lost, which they're not actually lost. Taking their own pictures in front of our, in, well, that's his gate, um, but taking pictures in front of the gate. They'll be at the tail end of the south gate set. Just doesn't look like they're supposed to be there. Now they have a West Virginia plate, but they just don't understand roads and private roads. People like to run up and down our roads that aren't supposed to. Which brings me to the fact, okay, here they go. They were supposed to go to the south gate, I believe. All right, we've got a contractor coming in. Okay, this guy comes in. Um, it was locked fine, that, that first one, North North Gate, was locked fine, but when they go out, they can't, that's where they came in, it was locked like this, and when they go out, it was not locked the same. They went right around that gate with the lock. They bypassed Potomac Edison Lock. We came in like three hours later and found it like that and corrected it. We got our normal contractor in and out. We're going to be seeing less of him up here because there's less and less for him to do. He's got other jobs he needs to be working on. All right, to the south middle gate we go. Where we left off from last time, they went, I assume, down to the river to cool off, and they're coming back. Coming in. Now you might want to pay attention to the right side of the gate over there. There's a rock. Actually, there's two rocks over there. They are present currently at 7-3. 7-4. They're still there. This guy's going out. Rocks are still there. 7 4. Seven, four. He's coming back in again. Rocks still there. Seven four. Rock still there. And they're back. Didn't take them very long. Yeah, if you look closely, sometimes you will see 
what we have up there, which is gypsy moths. They're not as heavy as the south gate as the north gate. 2.45 p.m. 7-4-2023. The rocks are still there. Whoop, gypsy moth. Got them bad way up on the top. More people going out. Or are they going down to the river to cool off? Also pay attention if you're going down to the river to cool off. Some of the normal areas that you go to now say no parking. What I understand is due to the fire trucks use of the river to fill up their tanks. I mean everybody park alongside the road limits them to come in and fill up their tanks in an emergency. So people must have went down to the river to uh, cool off. Now they're coming back in again. And those rocks are still there. 7 4, 4 21 p.m. Oop, got a kayak. Oh, got a bunch of vehicles. Oh, yeah, keep them rolling. Still coming out. Oh, there goes that UTV. I guess they're leaving. Packed it all up. Oh, there we go. Look, the rock is not there anymore. That little motorcycle kicked him off before he ran around it, I bet. All right. Here we go. I don't know if he's ever been in here or not. But I believe that is a realtor. I don't think he normally shows mountainside properties. Or should I say land that's on a private road? I don't know. They went in, they came out. Well, one came out. 11.20 a.m. Yep, see, that rock is definitely not there. That motorcycle, he probably kicked him off over the edge. We're going to have to reset him or get some new rocks. I think we need to drill a hole through it and punch a rebar through the entire thing into the ground sitting there. Then you can't move it. Then you bend the rebar over at the last point. And it will be an immovable object. If we can get the rebar in the ground. Okay, recognize that vehicle. There he is. That was the guy at the north gate. North north gate. With the realtor. And we got a deer crossing the road. And that's the finale. That's all we got for this time, folks. We'll catch you later when I pick up those video cards at some point in time. Bye.